Welcome back to my channel. Today's date is July 14th, 2021, and this is your daily download for Tops Project 70. Keith Shore goes back to what put himself on the map. It was never the Griffey Shore. It was always the Bob Gibson. And so now that you've had a full 24 hours to digest that Jacob deGrom, by Kishore, are you a buyer or are you not a buyer of that card? And I'm also curious, will we see that card top 2000 because of how well he's done this year? Or will this card fall under the Mims band, Jacob deGrom, which came in at 1,289? We'll see if that chase card out of 48 drives that print run. But welcome, my name is Chris, otherwise I'm on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore sports cards. And my website, CRTSportsCards.com, is where you want to go for everything related to Project 70. And speaking about chase cards, this morning, or sorry, this evening, I did hit my seventh foil this year in the set. And it's none other than Mims Band's Jackie Robinson. So here it is. Here is the foil variation. Not number 42, but just a great card to add to the Jackie collection because this is also the no hat Jackie Robinson. And then for the record here, I did actually buy two cards of this one, one for that no hat collection and one for my Jackie collection. A vast majority of cards I buy, I only buy one of. So this was an odd one to buy two and sure enough, there is that foil. But hey, let's get to the Wednesday cards in Project 70. It has been a very, very busy and for some a very expensive week in the set. But today, thankfully, we just had four cards released. Monday, we of course had the nine all-star cards. We had the four base cards plus the autograph of Shohei Otani. Yesterday, we had the four base cards, the chase card variation, and also another autograph by Cunha by DJ Ski. But today, just four cards, very, very nice to have. Sort of a relaxing middle of the week Wednesday. So first up today, we did have CC Sabathia. This is the fifth time we have seen CC in the set, this time by Chuck Stiles. Now for the 14th time, the number one player in the set, we have Quicks releasing their Mickey Mantle. We also saw Daryl Strawberry. This is Strawberry's sixth card in Project 70. That's a surprise for me, but this time he's in a different team. And then for the third time, we had Don C release David Ortiz. And now of course, this wasn't Don C's third time releasing David Ortiz. This is Ortiz's third time in Project 70. So let's talk about this card first because this card, when I saw it this morning, played with my heart just a little bit. And of course, this is a direct reference to Biggie Smalls. This card, of course, will not qualify for my No Hat collection. There is now maybe potential for a crown collection. When you think back to New York, Nico's Mickey Mantle, and now we have the crown on David Ortiz. But this card, when I first saw it, it had the black border. So I thought to myself, did Don C take some creative liberty with this card and make it into 71? Yes, of course, the very top of it is very different, but no, Don C here goes with 1970. This is the 12th card we have seen from 1970 in the set. And this is of course the 13th Red Sox. And so while you might think 13 cards from a team is a pretty good spot this far into Project 70, it's not. You've got the Dodgers now at 46 total cards, courtesy of Crayola releasing it there, Daryl Strawberry. So far in this set so far, we have seen Daryl Strawberry strictly in a Mets uniform. So this throws Strawberry set a little bit off, but Crayola continues to tease us with his artwork. And if you go just Google him and you look at his artwork, his artwork is just second to none. He is also of all of the 51 artists that we're gonna release a card in this set, the artist that I was most looking forward to. And this one gets a little bit closer. You have the evil looking strawberry at the bottom. You have, of course, the octopus with the Dodgers hat on. This card, it, it I like it more. I just want more of what makes Crayola's artwork great. Ditch the players, go more with your drawings. But now, no matter what Crayola does with their cards throughout the end of the set, I'm gonna be a buyer of the remaining 12. I'm putting this set together. But this next artist for me will be forever known as the one that got away. I sold their first card short and I really, really hate that I did because of course you have that gold poster, but I can never complete the Quicks 
20 card run for that poster on the Topps website. But we have Quick's release Mickey Mantle. This is of course the 77th and 78th New York Yankee in the set. But I really think on this card, the colors he used, the year he used, 1975 Topps. This is the 14th card we viewed from 75. Everything works so well together. I don't know right now if this is the best Mickey Mantle. Of course, there's 14 to pick from. I just know that with every card that passes in this set for Quicks, I like his artwork more and more. I just wish I'd picked up that Ernie Banks when it released originally. But my card of the day is going to be the eighth card that we have seen from 1994 Tops. It is, of course, going to be the CC Sabathia from Chuck Styles. The reason why I like this card so much, and I relate it back to the Bernie Williams by Joshua Vitez, you feel the emotion. You feel Bernie Williams turning second there. And in this card, you can really feel the pitch from CC Sabathia. As everyone jokes, you cannot draw artwork. I can't even draw a stick figure. But when you look at this piece of artwork, you can just feel the arm coming from right to left. And from, for me, that makes this card the very best on Wednesday. And also do not forget tonight is decision night for the Monday cards in Project 70. The clock expires tomorrow morning on those four releases. This completes your daily download for July 14th, 2021 in Project 70. And I'll see you back tomorrow night.